What's up people of the internet? It's Paris here with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Nvidia GeForce GTX 1050 Mobile which is a GPU based on the Pascal architecture. It has 640 kilo cores and 4GB of VRAM in our case. We're using the latest driver suite as of the making of the video. I found a vault state using MSI Afterburner, you can see my curve here. This GTX 1050 Mobile is paired with the Intel Core i7-7700HQ which is a CPU based on the Kaby Lake architecture that has 4 cores and 8 threads and a frequency of up to 3.80 GHz. I found the volt set by minus 100 MW, you can see my total stop settings here. You also have 16 GB of RAM in 2 channel mode, as well as a small SSD for the operating system and also which the game is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows X Lite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. All the specs are in the video description. Yeah boy, it's time for another God Tier Optimized game. This one is called Starfield, and not only is it poorly optimized, but it also looks ugly as heck for a 2023 game. I mean, it literally looks worse than something like GTA 4. Though considering that it's based on a 15 year old engine, I guess we shouldn't be surprised. Great job Bethesda. Anyway, let's get straight to the point now.
if you want to play Starfield at an even lower resolution, by default, you have to do so at windowed mode, but I assume most of you guys don't want that. So, press your windows button, then from the start menu, go to settings, then go to system and you should land at the display settings. From there, we're gonna lower the desktop resolution to 1280x720 instead of using windowed mode and lowering the resolution from the game settings. After lowering the desktop resolution, you notice that the game has become too small. To fix this problem, disable and re enable the borderless full screen option, then press escape and that's it. If you want a little bit more FPS and you have a very bad eyesight like mine, you can return to the display settings, but this time go to advanced display settings, display adapter properties, list all modes and choose the 640x480 option, click ok and apply. Then, if you want to make it widescreen, lower the desktop resolution a little bit to 640x400, then go back to the game and make sure to disable and re enable that full screen option unless you truly want to lose the ability to make up what is going on in Starfield. And enjoy!
about me every 